Welcome guys to Matt's Vintage Video Games. Again, today we are going to talk about the B's for Atari 2600. So we're going to go through, just like we did in the A's, we're going to go through some of the um, the coolest uh, games that were for the Atari 2600 in the B column. Let's we'll start with Bank Heist, which I actually had that when I was a kid and I really liked it. It was a pretty good game. Uh, uh, it, it's um, your little car and you are trying to get what looks to me like vaults or something yeah and then the cops come after you so pac-man style you know pac-man style game but like with a car so kind of interesting but uh, it's a neat little game um, you know it's like a you know very very early uh, you know Grand Theft Auto before there was Grand Theft Auto, but you know more closely related to Pac-Man, obviously. So uh, you got to get all of the. Oops! Now why doesn't it? Why didn't it take me to the next level? Hmm. You get all of the banks, and then you get out of there and go to the next level. At least that's what I thought. That's what happened in the last one. But um, in any event, so there is Bank Heist. Uh, Barnstorming was a great game. Most people had that. Activision, um, again, anything Activision was really good, uh, at least I thought. Uh, there were a few that were, eh, you know, not so great, but for the most part, yeah, Activision was great. And uh, if you guys want to look into it, uh, perhaps some of you already know um, the, the story behind Activision and how they got started because uh, Atari basically, you know, didn't like any of their ideas or wanted to go in a different direction. And um, so they said, well, you know, screw you guys, we're going home. And they took their ideas and they went and they made Activision and uh, they made some of the best games for the 2600, in my opinion, were uh, Activision games, were fantastic. Uh, some of these games are just common, you know, basketball, battle zone even, uh, wasn't that great of a game. Uh, Beam Rider was decent. Uh, I tried Beanie Bopper, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I've, I've played it before, I never had it as a kid, but I've played it on this emulator machine before. Uh, kind of interesting. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I look like I'm, I'm an eyeball or something. And these are, I don't know what these little things are, but I know you shoot them. And you progress forward oh, without getting hit by whatever those things are. Uh, kind of an interesting game. Ooh, just like that. So, uh, oops, that's that's kind of the thing with this this emulator is it'll do this on its own. So you just kind of kind of watch that. Uh, uh, let's try some of these other games here. Let's go back to about where we were. Beanie Bopper. We just did that. So, so there's another one. Beat 'em and eat 'em. I'm not I'm not gonna play this game right now, but I'll try to do an, an adult themed 2600 games. Uh, later on at some point. Um, Bermuda Triangle was not a bad game. Uh, Baron Steen Bears was kind of interesting. Um, I'll, I'll show you this game really quick. It's not It's not bad at all. A uh, little hard to make out what everything is. Uh, there's like some trees in the background and for some reason I cannot do anything. It might be a paddle game. I'm not sure. I can't remember to be honest with you. So, well, forget about that. Berenstein Bears. You have to have something. Oh, it's a talking video game set, so it required some uh, very special uh, stuff to be able to use this game. So, can't play that one. Berserk was a classic. Was a very classic game. Great game. I love that. Uh, Big Bird's Egg Catch was was interesting. Um, Blackjack. Common uh, Blinky goes up. Not sure what that is. Let's give that a shot. And some of these games required special controllers. Some of them required paddles. Um, if you're playing on this device, you have just a controller. So uh, some of them are just not going to work. Uh, light gun games and stuff like that are, are not going to work. I, I don't know what this thing is. Looks like a, a penis with legs. I couldn't really tell you what this is. Um, 
it seems like I need to either get that blue thing or stay away. And I should have stayed away. Uh, it was kind of pretty good flow on the jump. Pretty easy to jump. Seems like I'm uh, going to the next level. So whatever is going on here, it's pretty easy to, uh, it, it's a good fluid motion to be able to, you know, get through these levels. So, kind of an interesting game. I'm not sure exactly what the point is. Uh, nowadays, there's really no need for any manuals or anything like that, but back in the day, you almost had to have it, especially for Atari 2600 games. If you didn't have the manual, you had no idea what you were doing or what you were. It was hard to even see what you were. Like, you know, on this, I have no idea what this guy is. It looks like a worm, and it looks like a... Well, we'll try to keep it clean for the kids, but it's funny looking. But it's interesting. And it has a... Oh, it fell off. <laughs> Blinky goes up. So, whatever Blinky is, uh, made by Jan Hermans. It's not a bad game. So, another prototype game. Or homebrew, basically. Uh, Blip Football, homebrew. Uh, Bloody Human Freeway, which is a, a prototype game. A homebrew game. Uh, this one's interesting. Uh, I've played this before. So, Activision made Freeway. I'm sure you see that, you know. Um, it's just down there at the bottom of the screen. It looks just like Freeway. You think, oh, this is this is Freeway, but no, you're a human, and you get splatted pretty easily. But at least when you get splatted, you can continue on because it'd be very difficult if you, if you had to go back. It's just, this is tougher than Freeway. This is really tough. But uh, I think it's really cute how you you make a little red spot in the in the pavement which, you know, when you get hit so basically just uh, just a, a, a version of a uh, 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 freeway for the 2600 but it's an interesting game anyway uh, blueprint was interesting if you haven't played that it's a pretty good game uh, BMX Air Master uh, you know it's, it's kind of tough uh, the same with, with with a lot of these here Bobby is going home that's an interesting game I haven't played that one so we'll check it out can jump, I'll jump over that, whatever that is, he's got a huge jump, like a moonwalking kind of jump, it's kind of crazy, uh, not sure where I'm supposed to go, I guess just to the, okay, this is a lot like Smurfs, okay, if you remember Smurf rescuing Gargamel's castle, this is like really closely related to that. Uh, it really, really looks like a Smurf, but only wearing black instead of blue, really. So it's very, very closely related. But I actually like Smurf, and this is kind of, you know, not to, to put down the makers of the game or anything, but this is kind of weak. Yeah, not, not you know, not is is it the the moonwalk just throws you off. Your your timing is just what you know is it's. it's like you're floating across the screen, it's, it's very weird. So just a simple jump would have would have made the game a lot more enjoyable, at least for me. So, you know, we'll give something else a shot. But you know, not bad. Uh, but uh, you know, again, it's just very very closely related to uh, to uh, the Smurfs. Uh, uh, Boing. This is another one that's that's kind of interesting, but it's a, it's like a knockoff game. Um, I've played it before. I had a copy of this um, a while back. It's kind of an expensive game too. It's not. It's not very cheap. Uh, at least when I had it, it, it wasn't very cheap. But you can see it's it's really um, basically Cubert, except instead of a triangle, it's a you know square box. So this is basically Cubert. Is all this game really is? But kind of fun and actually a little bit easier than Cubert because. Uh, uh, you know, you don't have to go down at an angle. You can just go straight up, straight over, straight down. So it kind of makes it a little easier. This is a really good game. Uh, the first Boulder Dash. This is an unknown, probably a homebrew. Uh, bowling was actually not a bad bowling game. 
again with boxing one of my favorite boxing games it's just very very simple but uh, when I had this when I was a kid we played this for hours and hours and hours it was crazy so a uh, really good game um, any of these here you're seeing these are all just just very common um, except for uh, Buck Rogers playing into Zoom which is not a bad game um, I'm, I'm a fan of Atari, so I actually liked a lot of these games, and a lot of you guys might might think half of these are stupid, but uh, for me, being back in a time period, uh, it was awesome. Every time you got a new one and you got to do something different and new, it was very exciting. So uh, this this game was uh, not easy to find, um, but you know it's not it's not a rare title, but uh, back then, you know. And not everybody had a copy of this game, so it was uh, it was kind of fun, but kind of a kind of a long playing game. Um, whoops! So it was kind of neat, though. It's kind of a different take on uh, a space kind of game, so kind of interesting. Uh, bugs. Uh, Never had a copy of this when I was a kid, but I did have a copy of it uh, when I I started to uh, uh, collect when I started to get into this industry. Uh, and this was one of the games that I had in my collection. I had a really nice looking copy of it. It's not a very expensive game, but I always thought it was kind of interesting, so I wanted a copy of it. And then when when I got a copy of it, I, I quickly realized that I have no idea how to play this game. And, and I just end up dying all the time so <laughs> it was uh, it was just kind of weird but it was just interesting because of the title and it, it, the picture of it uh, the, all the artwork makes it look really cool but you know not not as good when you play it now Atari 2600 made Bugs Bunny um, and it's made by Atari it was a later made game any of the the red label games were made a little bit later on so you know, early 80s, right before Nintendo came out. So they started doing a lot more stuff. And especially anything Looney Tunes or Disney, uh, it was actually a pretty good game because they, they made sure they designed it very well. And uh, for for what the limitations of the system were, it's actually a very good game. And you can see the graphics. You can tell that's Elmer Fudd. You can tell that's Bugs Bunny. You know, it's it's 4-bit graphics, guys, and this doesn't look too bad for 4-bit graphics. It's actually not a bad game. It's a pretty fun game. So I, I do recommend uh, giving that one a shot, trying to find it if you can. Some of these are some of these are expensive. Some of them get very expensive. So it uh, just depends on how serious of a collector you wanted to be. I very quickly realized, um, you know, in my collection that... Uh, I was not going to spend the money it was going to take to complete an Atari 2600 collection. If you could even complete it, uh, some of these are going to be very difficult to find. Uh, Burger Time was a classic. It was, it was a great game. Um, I love Burger Time. Uh, it's, it wasn't, wasn't, a, wasn't a common title, but it was definitely um, a game that, that I'd recommend. It was one of those uh, weird shaped cartridges that were made in Singapore. Um, so, you know, M Network made, made uh, those titles and they were kind of crazy. Um, you can tell it's a chef. You can't really tell it's hot dogs. You can't really tell that these are buns. You, you know, it's, it's very, very basic, but it's a super fun game. And it was, it was popular enough that it got redone for, you know, different, uh, different cartridges and stuff in the, uh, in the future. So... It was a great game. Uh, looked looked the best on the NES, but was hard to control. It was very hard, uh, just like on here. It's like it's it's very hard to know when you're at the right point to where you can press over and up. And, and I'm getting stuck. You know, it's like I'm, I'm I want to go over and it won't go over. And I, you know, so it's kind of a difficult game, but uh, the the concept is is really great. So I recommend this game for sure. So that will be it for the B section. So stay tuned and we'll do the C's. Please like and subscribe, guys. Thank you.